here we go again we are back at the control center right behind me with a huge upgrade coming i wanted to look at how those ways are means of how to reduce or just how to monitor my kilowatts <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys, I am Alexander, thanks for sticking around. Always remember, click on that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video whenever they are out. And we are going to look over this cheap little meter, it's called the multifunction battery meter. And it can tell you a lot about your battery lifestyle or your battery. It is a 300 amp multi battery meter so i'll be quickly going over and look how efficiently it is or how effectively it can be are the uses of your kilowatt energy uses and all of that this is a multi-function battery meter there's nothing new about it it is the same whole meter that we know from long time this one is a hundred amp shunt there's nothing special about them just a meter, a shunt, and some nuts and bolts. Included in the package, a very visual manual. Warning instruction, some wires for the shunt and the meter. There are six strands of wires. Two 4.8 bolts, a shunt, which rated of 100 amps. And if you look carefully on the shunt, you can see it said 100 amp and 5.7 millimeter volt. On the other side, there is some engraved FL slash 205. On the shunt you can also see two little screws. This is where you connect those yellow and blue wires. And the meter itself, it has some instruction on the back. And it allows you to connect the load, your battery, and the shunt, and an external power supply just in case you're not running the meter directly off your battery. We will show you more as we go along with this setup. To test, to test and show you some functionality of the meter, I will be using this 18 volt battery. Remember I told you how to connect the wires so now that I'm using 18 volts, I have to not use this side no more. I'm going to use the battery itself. So black will go to the second component. Squeeze down, push the wire in, and let go. For the red, same thing. Now that the meter is connected, you can see we're showing 19.3 volts in the batteries. And none of this function would be operated as yet because there's no shunt connected to the meter. But I just want to show you the function. So this is the voltage, the amperage, the watt, and the energy use, and the milliamps. Resistant milli resistant and the time running on the side of the meter there is a button press and hold and it will go into setting now the setting allows you to change the parameter of the battery once you change the parameter of the battery this function would goes up 
So you press and hold and you get a select the volt and you would select the volt like that and it would go down to the current so you can set the amount of current you want to go into a shunt. This shunt here is 100 amp. They range from 50 to 300 in this meter. Press and hold, press, press, and you will get clear, so it will clear the meter that you don't want to use. So once you reach to something that you want to clear, you once you get to setting the meter, you hold down the button and it would operate like that. And you wait on the flashing to change the parameter of what you want to change. For instance, this is the high. And I wanted to go up to 19 because the battery is 19. I wait till it's flash the 4. So that's the low. That's the high. So you press. And it will go up to 19. So the battery won't charge past 19. The low. You wait. There it is. And there you have it. It's of one bar. So as soon as you set this, the correct voltage of what you're using, the bar will show you where the battery allow. But I'm not going to go into that right now because I'm going to put it on a 12 volt system. So I'm not showing you the functionality of the meter. And for the clearing of any data that was on the meter that you don't want, you go back to pressing and holding. Once you hold, you press. And it will go to clear, clear, and hold to clear later on. So I'm going to secure the meter inside this box and then put it in this box. Now with the cover, the hold for the meter has now bored and it is comfortably fitted properly. But I recognize before I can push down this meter, this box of a deeper hedge. So I need to install the wires for the meter before I can slip it in here. And these little wires that come with the meter would have sufficed to work if I was going to mount it directly beside something. But I'm going to move it away from my panel box so I need a longer wire and a stronger wire and these are very stronger this wire can hold up to 400 volts and they are small enough to fit in the meter so I'm going to use this wire and I think this amount is good enough let's strip the wires So this is where we're going to install the shunt. Not to worry, easy fix. It look like a bunch of wires and look confusing. Not to worry guys, easy fix. Alright? So this box was built by me from scratch. And in this box, this little section is AC and everything here is DC. I know we should not mix DC and AC together, but it is safe enough for me so it didn't build for a shunt so now I have to remodel it in a different way so I'm going to move this is the 
negative battery wire this is a positive come to this big breaker this big breaker is 150 amp 168 amps max anything over that this breaker will be chipping these two little breakers one is 60 amp and one is 30 amp not to worry first before we go on guys remember if you're not comfortable Run live electricity please do not attempt to do anything in your home and around high voltage electricity as easy as one two three I have removed the negative side of our DC current so now you see I have a little space right here so on the shunt there's a little gap in between it so I'm going to figure more than less that it's supposed to turn this way up. I have managed to get a brick of bar bolts, which is good. So now that the shunts have been secured tightly enough, now run some wires. As you can see, the brick comes in handy and sturdy. So we're putting the box right just above this little charge control here and we're going to lock it off. We can then screw this right. Once the box is secure, we can then now push this wire outside and hope that it comes through. Now to get the wire from here to this box, we're going to use and voila, here we go, the wire is true. We're going to get the two blue wire, the blue and the white to go to the shunt and the red to go to here and the black to go to the battery side. We have connect the black one to the battery directly to the battery negative and we are going to connect the red one directly to the battery positive blue will connect the side that the battery is on the side that the battery comes directly from so this is directly from the battery so we're connecting the blue side to that side. And the yellow goes to the yellow. And the paper, I have white. So I connect my white side to the load. So on the paper, this one is yellow, it's connected to the load, the yellow, the, sorry the blue, connect to the, direct to the battery, the black, connect direct to the battery, the red, connect directly to the battery positive. Now let's hide this way up here, and hide this down here, for some semblance of tidiness. So this one control the battery for the charge controller so I switch it on and the charge controller is on. I'm gonna switch on the panels that run in this charge control and it immediately started to charge. You can see charge control is charging now up to 13.8, 13.5 
mean they are not exactly up to standard R, but it's 13, 13, yeah. Jumping between 13 and 8, 13.8, 13 13.3, stable right here. Let's turn on back the inverter. So this is pulling between between 600 milliamps and 700. So you can see jumping between amps. And I'm going to figure more it's reading what's coming out of the battery and what's going into the battery. So I'm clearing the setting all over again. See if it makes any difference. Still jumping between 800 milliamps and 11.9 watt to 6.10 point watt. It's just jumping in between. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed any of this video and wanted to comment in the description below or in the comment bar, let me know what you think. Give me your feedback and remember, give me that thumbs up. Thanks for watching.